As faculty, departments, and even entire campuses increasingly look to adopt digital courseware, there's a growing need for a guide to help educators navigate this rapidly evolving product category. The Courseware in Context, or QUIC framework, is an attempt to address this challenge. Now entering its third year in development, QUIC is an ambitious project that is very much a work in progress. At the 2017 WCET Annual Conference, we had the opportunity to interview both outgoing and incoming members of QUIC's advisory committee to get a better sense of how they conceptualize the problem that the project attempts to solve. The key with QUIC was going after the personalized experience. And the assumption has been made that true personalized learning is a better type of learning than a standardized one size fits all approach. And so the thought that faculty and even centralized administrators struggle to find what those tools are that actually create a personalized experience, they're sort of, it's sort of a shotgun approach today. And so the idea was to create a framework to sort of guide uh, some of the aspects of adaptivity, learner autonomy, or really learner agency is probably a better way to say it, um, and try, try to give some framework to the decision-making process by which to find those tools. And then what's exciting to me is to evaluate those tools over time. The word context in the project title turns out to be both critical to the goals of the advisory committee and difficult to pin down. I think by thinking about the users of the framework, actually, it's sort of the reverse, right? So you've got, in the case of the quick framework, uh, a number of people or a number of stakeholders at an organization that would find value in it, whether it's a faculty member, instructional designer, uh, folks who are involved in procurement. Um, so for me, that the context becomes that educational structure or superstructure, and then the users are those that are defined as a part of framework entry points, if that makes sense. So in other words, um, it can be used a lot of different ways by a lot of different people. Um, and I think that's part of what makes it valuable as opposed to just being for faculty or just for instructional designers or just for academic administration. As you know, there was uh, some SRI research that came out about all the Gates Foundation work that if you just read the headlines, talked about, well, it doesn't work. You know, like just uh, everyone was all, all worried about any of the adaptive learning conversations because all oh, the research says that it doesn't work. But if you look at the findings, it says it doesn't work when you just throw it at the wall and hope that it sticks. And the few places where it seemed to work were places where there was alignment. There was alignment of a support infrastructure. There was an alignment of the intent of how, how they wanted to use it. So, so courseware in context, I think, as it stands right now, is an attempt to, to acknowledge that there are a lot of reasons that you might seek to adopt courseware. Yeah, I think when I think of courseware in context is because a lot of times we just focus on the technology, like the shiny ball, and we just think technology is going to solve all of our problems, right? So institutions run out, they grab a technology, or they hear about a technology that could solve some problem, um, and then they just sort of throw it on their campus. And so I think when we look at the in context, it means that we need to look beyond just the product or the technology itself. Um, and that we need to have more information about, you know, what are our problems that we need to solve? What does the literature tell us about the problems? What are the different things that we need to know about the technology? And, and what I think is really important and I'm partial to is the implementation process. So I think a lot of times that we're not seeing technology diffused across institutions or beyond institutions, and we're not seeing success is because we're not appropriately implementing the technology at our institutions or in our programs. So I think the context is thinking about all of those other million variables and how they actually affect, you know, the acquisition of a technology on campus, much less our ability to scale, which, you know, still escapes lots of people. Mm -hmm.